Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome back for another video here. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you about this deadly uh, killer bacteria that could be in your body with your fibro and your joint pain, with uh, cancer in, in the body, with, with uh, an MS type of disease, with a neuropathy, with a, a foggy brain feeling, with Alzheimer's, with any kind of neurodegenerative disease or cancer, this can exist in the body. And I've got several videos about this. If you want it, email me and I'll send you the other links that I've created of other videos with tons of information uh, jam-packed into them about this deadly bacteria. Mycoplasma causes disease mimicking Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And coming out of this neurology journal from September of 2005, they made a determination of systemic infections due to mycoplasma in patients with clinically defined ALS. We conducted a case control study involving 75 patients, 20 of whom were patients with clinically defined ALS and 55 healthy patients. Blood samples were taken and processed in the neuroimmunology laboratory where they submitted to the PCR test for mycoplasma for this kind of bacteria called brucella. The results. These patients with ALS were between 35 and 82 years of age. And among the patients with Lou Gehrig's, or ALS, 10 were found to be positive. That's 50% of them had this infection. 10 were negative, so it was a 50-50. Some had the infection, some didn't. Whereas in the control subjects, we found six patients and 49 negatives. So out of 55 healthy people, six had the infection. Maybe it's laying dormant. Maybe it's causing something else, but not Lou Gehrig's disease. And in the other uh, 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 20, and the 20 uh, Lou Gehrig's disease patients and the 20 ALS patients, 10 had this infection, 10 didn't. This indicates that the risk of suffering from ALS, if the test shows for mycoplasma is positive, 8 to 1. 8 to 1 ratio that the ALS can be linked to this bacteria. Conclusion, there is a strong link between suffering from a chronic infection due to mycoplasma and developing ALS. A strong connection. If you get the mycoplasma infection, you can get Lou Gehrig's presentations, Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS presentation. Intracellular pathogenic agents such as mycoplasma can play a role in the production of, in the creation of these neurodegenerative diseases. Mycoplasma in ALS, another article. Journal of Clinical Neuroscience in 2002, September of 2002. High frequency of systemic mycoplasmal infections in Gulf War veterans and civilians with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. This source was from the Molecular Biology Laboratory, Department of General Surgery, University Hospital in Munster, Germany. And here's what they found. All Gulf War veterans with Lou Gehrig's disease or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis were positive. All Gulf War veterans were positive for mycoplasma fermentans, except one that was positive for mycoplasma genitalium. In contrast, in contrast, excuse me, the 22 of 28 civilians with detectable mycoplasmal infections had more of the mycoplasma fermentans. You don't need to worry about that. But basically what we're saying here is all of these patients from the Gulf War had progressive ALS and they had mycoplasmal infections. All of them. So people with this Gulf War syndrome, there really is an infection. Maybe it was part of the biological warfare they tried out there to see what it could do, what their creation could do. This deadly bacteria has been found mimicking multiple sclerosis, mimicking ALS, mimicking joint disease, respiratory illness, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancer, liver, stomach, intestinal, even mimicking a brain tumor. Incredible. Give us a call. We can help you. There are methods to be able to figure this out and use non-antibiotic, use actual different sources of, of supplements that can actually eradicate these infections in your body. Give us a call. 954-370-3100.
There's so much information to share with you that your doctors are not telling you or they don't even know. And it's not just about taking a medication that just suppresses your immune system and allows these, 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 these infections to, to just continue to plague your body and cause your disease progression. Thank you for letting me come into your home and share this. I look forward to helping you.